Hey guys, I hope you had an awesome New Year's and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all enjoying the holiday season and I'm sorry I haven't had very many videos up over the last couple of weeks. I've just been pretty busy with, you know, family stuff and all the rest of it. Um, so this is my first video of 2016, which I'm pretty excited about and I'm really hoping to continue on with doing a lot more YouTube videos, tutorials, that sort of thing this year and really developing more actions uh, for you guys to purchase if you're interested and also just more tutorials in general on photography and Photoshop and pretty much whatever else you guys want to see. So the first tutorial that I'm going to do this year is going to be on how to get neutral cool grey tones they sort of look like. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's pretty quick and this was a request from um, a couple of people I think on Instagram. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll get started now. The first adjustment we're going to apply to this image is going to be a color fill. So we're just going to go down to the adjustments and go to solid color. And the color that we're going to use as a base is 46362B. And it's kind of like a light brown color and we're going to set that to lighten at 57%. Okay, so that just creates the base for what we're going to do. Uh, it's not a very saturated color and it's nothing to out there. So that's gonna help us create that neutral base that we're after. So I'll just show you guys what that's done. It's just filled in the shadows. I usually like to use one solid color in my toning and set it to lighten because it will fill in the shadows quite quickly and easily. So uh, that will help change the color of the image pretty much straight away. Okay, and the next adjustment we're going to use is curves. Now, I usually type in the numbers for curves, but I'm actually going to just try this out and try moving uh, the sliders around so you guys can see what I'm actually doing and what's happening to the image. So in the RGB, channel we're going to move the line to 5 and 0 so we're going to move that up to 5 there and the next point we're going to put in is 74 and 73 so that's going to be up here and across there we go and then 204 and 197 we're going to go up and across, there we go. And then the last point will just be 255, which is just at the end there. And then we're going to go into the red channel and we're going to create some points. So the first point is zero and zero, which is already marked. And then we're going to go to 76 and 75. So we'll just drag one point up to 76 and then across to 75. The next point will be 143 and 147. So I'm going to move that down and then across this way. Okay, and then the last point is just 255, which is already there. And then we're going to go into the green channel. And the first point is going to be 13 and 0. So we'll move this one up to there. And the next point will be 66 and 64. 66 and 64. And then 178 and 178. There we go. And the last point is 247 and 255. So just down there. Okay, and that's our curves adjustment done. The next adjustment will be a levels. So we're going to bring that up. And the points we need are 5, 1 and 241. So I'll just move this across to 5. That will stay at 1. And this one will be 241. There we go. And then back to the adjustment layers again, and we'll bring up a hue and saturation. And the saturation will be minus 11. And the other adjustments will be left at zero. 
And then our last adjustment will be a color fill again. So just a solid color. And the color we'll choose is 572. 638. And it's kind of like a maroon color, just a little bit more saturated than that though. And we'll press OK. And we're going to set this one to darken and 7%. Okay, so that is the finished colors and I'll just do a before and after. So back in our history tab, I'll take a snapshot and then go back to the original. And this is what we have now. So I'll zoom in the original and that's what it is now. So it's just a really nice neutral look for your photos. I recently did this for a photo shoot that I did not long ago. Uh, back in December, so I really just wanted a neutral toning for this kind of shoot. It was a test shoot and I didn't want anything over the top or too out there. Um, just something really simple that would enhance the images and yeah, just make them look nice, I guess. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching as usual and I'm hoping to get some more tutorials up in the next week or so. If there's any requests that you have, please leave them in the comments section below. I'm trying to sort of organize all of my requests at the moment and they're kind of across Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. So if you guys can just maybe leave them in the comment section below, just on YouTube, um, that would be great. And then I should hopefully be able to round them up then and um, make it a little bit easier for myself. But anyway, thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.